What's up guys, my name is Ryan and I recently turned from a trip to the beautiful country of Austria and I want to show you my favorite places. So here's my Austria top 10. Austria is one of the most beautiful countries I've been to. It is so green, they have some of the prettiest mountains and lakes you'll ever see. Now to get there, I'd recommend flying into either Vienna or Salzburg, preferably Salzburg because it's closer to the Alps. So for our first location, we're going to head over to Go Sal. It is one of the most beautiful towns. Like it is so gorgeous. When you think about the European Alps, this is it. It had some of the prettiest churches I've ever seen. There was hardly anybody. I had a whole place to myself. It was absolutely beautiful. So I definitely recommend taking a little pit stop here if you're near Hellstatt. All right, so after Go Sal, we're going to head up the road 15 minutes to see the Go Sal Sea Lake. It's just a quick drive from Gosau. You'll pass a beautiful lake with a nice little bench. There's a parking lot where you can park your car. Gosau Sea is just this beautiful lake that is situated between the Dockstein Glacier and the mighty peaks of Gosau Kamm. Probably butchered those words. There's a beautiful trail and you can walk around the whole lake. They have an awesome lodge where you can get food and you can also rent a boat and enjoy the lake even more. One thing that I do regret is I didn't take the gondola up because there's absolutely beautiful views on top and there's also the infinite miss Austria Sky Ladder, which I would have known about if I was there. So make sure you guys visit that lake if you have a chance. It is so pretty. All right, so after Go South Sea, we're gonna head over to the Gross Glockner High Alpine Road. It's the highest road in Austria at 2,504 meters and it's one of the highest in Europe. It's named after Gras Glockner, which is the highest peak in Austria at 3,798 meters. When I was there, I slept at the base of the mountain and I woke up around 6 a.m. to catch the sunrise. It cost me about 35 euros to enter the park. I was absolutely shook by the beauty and the colors of the mountains when I reached the top. Roads were a little scary, but nothing too crazy. After enjoying Gras Glockner, I made the short drive over to the Pastorese Glacier. It's the biggest glacier in Austria. They had a nice parking garage and I found this trail that led to the base of the glacier. So I hiked down to the bottom and the glacier was so cool. I loved the lake at the bottom. It was so gray and so pretty. The surrounding mountains are absolutely huge. You're able to see the Grossglockner mountain there. And I just had a good time having it all to myself. So definitely a really cool place to visit if you're in the Grossglockner National Park. All right, so after Grossglockner and Pastorees, we're going to head over to Krimmel Falls. So these are the highest waterfalls in Austria at 300 meters high. There are three stages of the waterfall, the biggest being over 140 meters. So the entrance fee is about 4 euros and it's about a 30 minute hike to the lowest waterfall, which is the biggest and most impressive in my opinion. You can also hike to the top if you're feeling like an adventure. There's a nice little lodge where you can have lunch. If you like waterfalls, I definitely recommend visiting Krimmel Falls. All right, so after Krimmel Falls, we're gonna head over to the beautiful town of Hallstatt. When you see Hallstatt for the first time, it feels like a fairy tale. It's located on Lake Hallstatt and it has the beautiful mountains surrounding it. And the town is just so beautiful. It's famous for its 16th century Alpine style houses. Hallstatt used to be a salt mining village, but now it's a very popular tourist destination. To get there, it's about an hour drive from Salzburg. You drive through a tunnel to get to the town. I'd recommend going there and walking around enjoying the beauty of the town. All right, so after Hallstatt, we're gonna head over to Wolfgangsee Lake. It's about an hour drive from Salzburg. I stumbled upon this lake on my way to Hallstatt. I was just blown away by the mountains and the color of the water. It literally felt like I was on the ocean. They had like these boats in the water and it was just so beautiful. Found a nice little pit stop off the side of the road where I was able to get a panoramic view of the area and it was just so freaking cool. I definitely recommend hanging around Lake Wolfgangsee if you get a chance. So after Lake Wolfgangsee, we're gonna head up to the nearby Schaefberg Mountain. So you can take a ferry from St. Gilgen and then take a steam train up to the mountain. So the train is a little bit expensive. It costs around 30 euros. So if you want to save some money, you can take a cable car from St. Gilgen or you can just hike it up. The view on the top is absolutely stunning because you get a panoramic views, the surrounding mountains and lakes. There are some cafes where you can get some lunch and enjoy the beautiful views and you can just hike around the area. It is so pretty. So after Schaffberg, we're gonna head over to the Zillertal Alps. 
this is the furthest destination in the video. Being over a four hour drive from Salzburg is right on the Italian Austrian border. One of the coolest places in the Zillertal Alps is the Olperer hike. It's a hike that goes up to a peak of over 11,000 feet high, but on the way there, there's a bridge that has an absolutely gorgeous view of the lake below. This bridge is super famous all over social media. If you keep walking up the trail, there's also a nice little mountain hut where you can get some food and enjoy the view below. There's also a super cool dam on that lake, and it's just a really beautiful place with amazing views. For our last stop, we're gonna head over to the castle of Bergein Schloss. When I was driving back to Vienna, I saw this from the highway, so I decided to pull off the road and get as close as I could to this castle. It's believed to be built in the 12th century. It has five round towers, and it's just an absolutely magical place. What's awesome is it's free to enter, and you just hike there, and you can go whenever you want. All right, that is it for my favorite places in Austria. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyways, it's Ryan, and we will see you later.